Incoming transmission. Captain, it appears we're receiving an incoming transmission. Uh, Scotty, uh, more resolution. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. If you don't like touchscreens, why did you implement it in the device and not just have a few simple buttons to stream, test, etc.? Yeah, buttons and switches are definitely much easier to implement, but the reason that I do these projects is to push the boundaries of what I know. Making a touchscreen application in Python is something that I've always wanted to try. Can you add a USB camera for better quality? Streaming quality doesn't really have much to do with camera resolution. When it comes to the Raspberry Pi, I specifically chose the Pi camera over other USB cameras, not only because it can also record at 1080p, but it also has better throughput because it's connected directly to the Pi's main board as opposed to being connected through USB. So although you're welcome to use a USB web camera instead, it's not gonna improve the streaming quality. Can you make it start streaming automatically, like have it set to stream at such and such a time and stop at such and such a time for every day or specific days? I'm pretty sure that's something that you could do, but you'll just have to mess around with different scripts and methods until you find out what works best for you. One method might be to write a little streaming script in Bash and then create a cron job that launches that script at specific times. You could use AVCOM, which works just like FFmpeg. Trust me, using FFmpeg was not my first choice. I did do a few tests using AVConv and found it pretty successful until you try to integrate it with a webcam. It worked pretty well with static video files and if any of you saw the live stream of me streaming Big Buck Bunny, that was actually done using AVConv. But once you try to incorporate a camera stream and stream it directly to YouTube, that's where everything kind of fell apart. But just to let you guys know, I think where it fell apart was on YouTube's end. So using AVConv may actually work with other streaming service providers. The dedication to touches. I feel touched. Now you only have to put in a microphone. The FFmpeg script that I've been using should already support audio input. So hopefully all I have to do is plug in a USB microphone and everything will start streaming together. But knowing my luck, it's probably going to break the whole project. What is the reliability of the product you've created? If you were wanting to stream 24-7, what would be the aspect most likely to fail? I gotta say, I found it a little strange that you're calling this a product and asking about its reliability. To eliminate any confusion, this is not a product that I'm selling. It's not being manufactured in a plant in Ireland. It has not gone through any rigorous product testing or stress testing. It's just a project that I thought would be cool to make and I have not even finished it. That's why from my end, it's like asking somebody that just built a sandcastle on the beach if they've tested it to see how many cubic feet of water pressure it can withstand before collapsing. With that said, to answer your question, I haven't the slightest idea. In all seriousness though, I'm hoping that you all will be the beta testers for me. If you see this project and like it and wanna build it, Go ahead and test it out and let us know your results. All right guys, update time. Remember that whole stockpiling of videos idea that I was gonna do before the baby came? Yeah, that didn't happen. Apparently, preparing for having a baby requires a lot of time. So now what? What's gonna happen with my channel? Well, unfortunately, this means my channel is gonna have to go on hiatus for a while until I can start doing projects again. And that may be three months or more. And when I come back, I wanna make this channel better than ever. And I know I can't do it alone. So my initial thought is maybe to do some type of crowdsourced assistance where you guys, my awesome fan base, help out with outreach, social media, themes, content, design, and different things like that. I don't necessarily know how that would work, so I'm still trying to flesh out ideas. But if that seems like something you might be interested in, you can let me know in this poll or in the comments below. And as always, thanks so much for all your comments, feedback, and support, and I'll see you all next week.